Good morning, everybody. A little Vaseline, please. Oh, you did here? Okay. So, um, our plan for today, uh, pro, please, is on Elon, we're going to be treating number seven, nine, and 11. Um, we're going to do Pontix at eight and 10. So, we'll be doing great old weight Pontix. We're going to be doing Z systems, one piece, tapered implants. 4.0 damage by 12. Once again, it's 7, 9, and 11. So we'll be talking about the whole process of the system, uh, how we deliver it to, the, to Ellen today. Also, we're going to be doing some APRF bone grafting. And then, of course, converting the, the final provisional restoration. So before I go further, can I have the 10% guy, please? Ina, you stay this, please. And the models too. Good okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to to our office surgical suite. And um, whether we're downtown at the Lowe's for our course or around the world, I think we're going to have a great morning. We welcome everybody into the room. So one of the things that I do when I set these cases up before we do anything is we'll take our records on our patient. Those records, am we on the camera or no? Here? Okay. That's Nicole, by the way. Okay. Sorry. We do this all the time with Nicole. She she holds my hands and rubs it around a little bit. There we go. Okay. How's this, guys? There? Is it in the screen? Okay. All right. So we create from our records a diagnostic wax up. This is the max anterior sextant. From there, then we have the model work duplicated two times, and we have a Vacuum form made on the model that we have duplicated. And then I go ahead and I do this myself. I ovate the model so I can get, start getting emergence profiles. And those of you in South America, I've got a little Luis Miguel now on for everybody. So this is it's the Frank Sinatra of Latin and South America. And then from here, I create my access opening areas for my surgical guide. But also from that, we then go ahead and Fill this with acrylic, goes on our model, and then we create our surgical guide, but it's also our provisional restoration. So uh, I trademarked this about 15 years ago. It's called the temp stent. We'll be seeing this later in the course, but it's a, a really an ideal way that we can go back, simply convert the provisional restoration. All right. So first thing we'll do now, four steps. We'll get started with the procedure. You know, one of the things that we have to do is ensure that we try to preserve as much tissue as we can from extractions. Suction, Nina. Okay. Take this from me. Because we're never going to have the tissue contour. Let me have my small elevator. So we're never going to have the, the, the tissue contours that we have now as good, again, as they're going to be here. Yes, I was turning this up. So this canine, I don't know if you've seen all the x-rays pre-hop, but maybe we'll do, of course, later. And actually, this implant in the posterior is being restored from Dr. Jardine, who's here from Midwestern, in the room with us. And he has referred us to patient for today. So that... Uh, your implant is going to be restored next coming week. Take this in and just relax for a second. So what I was just using is an elevator. This canine, old post and core, and one of the things we want to do, so we can to atraumatically get those teeth out because our tissue contours are never going to be that good. So actually the canine, I got it, you know, went a little bit better than I thought, okay? So now we know where our sites are in the anterior. Now, but what we're going to do is something very important. Can you bring the burrs to me, please, Nicole? Is we're going to start to think about constantly creating an aesthetic emergence profile in the tissue. And building this development here is critical to the overall success of the case. Nicole, let me go back to the, the other guide with my temporary temp step. 
but the one that I've already hold out because I'm not going to do this now. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is have Alan, Alan, go ahead, open for me. Open up for me. There we go. I'm going to put like a little football mouth guard in, okay, Alan? So you can see now this is my surgical guide, but it's also my provisional rest. So initially, you know, take this from me. I'm going to come in at number seven area, and I'm just going to notch my tissue a little bit where the correct emergence profile should be. Blake, you might take a picture saying you're just going to do screenshots. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll take this one, right? Here. Just, just dial in the best you can. Notice how I asked Blake if we're going to take pictures. So he goes, just do screenshots. And, of course, obsessive compulsive Paul, we take the pictures anyway. Come closer. You should be able to go right into here, baby. You should be able to get really close, like one-to-one. -one. I'm going to put that there. Great. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is continue along here. And we're going to be creating, in the tissue, an extraction socket. We've got four extraction sockets. So what I want to do is, do is I, want to, I want to keep being synonymous in my plan of attack here. And uh, I wrote this paper back in 2005, which we call, this is a, a, a sculpted implant receptacle site because I know the parameters of this socket I want to make this socket respond as I know this will and this will but we're also setting up our emergence profiles at this point around the area and I think something like this is critical to the success of the case I'm gonna need a little larger round burr a long shank larger round burr To the success of the case aesthetically, biologically, okay. Now, this one perfect. So, now what we're going to do, too, since we've got our site already set up. We're going to start the debridement phase. The debridement phase is that we start off the day before the procedure with Alan taking an antibiotic. Let's open up again, Alan. For me. This will relax your job. Perfect. She'll get out the water, okay? Uh, Augmentin, he started the uh, day before the procedure, two days before the procedure. And then the second phase of debridement to make sure that we can proceed with immediate restoration is going to be rotary instrumentation, debridement of the extraction socket. And I'm just removing all remnants, periodontal ligament, any granulation tissue. Down to good basal bone. Okay, small molt. Then I'm also going to go in with a small molt and just ensure that all remnants are taken care of. And uh, Nicole, if you can, just for the camera, can you run and get me the big mirror? Because we're going to be doing some occlusal shots here. I think that's probably better. All right. So now we've got the bridement. You can see hemostasis is really good. So at this point, we're going to start our site preparation. Okay. Now there's two ways to do site preparation. I'm going to do it because I've I've, I've taken the time for myself to create my guide, ovate the models, set the case up aesthetically. So in my mind, I already know kind of what his emergence profile is going to be. So I'm going to initially mark the sites in the palatal shelf of where we're going to be placing the implants. 
And I'm going to go back and confirm that after I do my initial pass with the surgical guide. You know, let me have my small elevator. Now, also, I had designed these several years back. These are, just, it's called the Petro 1 and 2 elevators. There's a small and larger one. And what I, what I did these for is that not only to help deliver the graft on the facial of an implant, but also to come in from an evaluation of the buccal plate. Now, we know that most, most of us adults in the adult population, of course, we're not children in the adult population. Well, I shouldn't say that. Some of us are children in the adult population. I happen to be one of them. Um, have either fenestrations or dehiscences over the buccal root surfaces of the maxillary anterior teeth. So we're always doing some sort of regeneration facially, in my opinion, to an implant, especially in the aesthetic zone. So we've got just a little tissue here. I'm just trying to evaluate now the thickness of the ridge. Suctionina, careful on the facial, because you see here I got a little tissue, okay? Yep, oh, well, it's okay. Okay, so we'll do more the palette. So section one more time back here. Palette. Good. All right. So. so as you can see from my elevation, just a little bit of a crease in the tissue, which is fine. Let me have the small suction tip. And I'm going to stay in the aesthetic zone. We want to stay more to the palatal aspect of the extraction socket and shelf anyway, because we want that emergence profile on the facial. So what I'm doing is just notching my initial passes in the bone, just so we can start our drill axis. With this. Now I know if I don't do this right away, uh, Alessandra from our office is going to be very mad. So Blake, let's go to Blake. Just get me on camera. Is there any way to get me on camera? With a, like myself personally. Okay, tell me when. So Alessandra, we got Outcast on, and I know you're going to get mad if I don't do this. So, okay. I know she's going to get mad if I don't do that. So let's get back. So I've already got the site marking now of where our plant sites for the implants are, okay? Now, I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not, but let's try. So let me have the guide. And do you have the mirror? Okay. Now, Ina, before I go in, I'm going to want you to suction. Or give it to me. I may do it. Alan, let's open for me, Alan. Okay, great. Maybe I can do it. I'm not going to be able to get through the tissue. So let me see the mirror. Okay, let me do this. So now I'm going to put this in like this. And I don't know if Blake, if they could see this or not, but I don't know. You can see the initial sites of where we are. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the site marking. I don't think you're going to be able to see it until I, I go a little bit more. Okay. But this is, the, this is why zirconia implants. Oh, and just How's your jaw doing? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Say hi to uh, Romania, Saudi Arabia, France. How's everybody doing all around the world? We're welcome. We're happy that you're here. But let me show you that this is an area why it's critical for zirconia implants. Because you see what happened here? Just in me evaluating the buccal plate, we've got this little crease in the tissue. Titanium is concerns for, of course, the translucency through the tissue. Just look at here. Look at the titanium healing cap, and you can see the silver. This is an area where we would have to really be concerned, possibly do a connective tissue graft in addition today, but you're going to see what happens as I treat this with the zirconia implant and the abutment collar. And that translucency that you don't see through the tissue, in my opinion, is critical in the aesthetic zone. This is why in my practice, maxillary anterior sexton, among other places, are all zirconia implants at this point. Okay, so let's get to the kit now for a second. I'm going to try to do it without the extension, but we'll see. All right, so we're going to start our site preparation and coring. Yeah, 12. Right. Okay. All right, section right here, Nina, for me. You know, I need to get the smaller tip. I need to see right in here, please. 
Okay. Okay. So what we're doing for Allen straight, we're just going to go with our coring site. I'm going to have to go to the... Uh, I'm just going with the pilot drill. The other thing that's really great about Z systems and these ceramic drills is they, they never go dull. And that's a, a huge thing. So you can see with the pilot drill, we're prepping this site to 12 millimeters. We're going to do three 4.0 12 millimeter implants. So the sharpness of these drills. So Alan's bone is really, really good. Very, very hard. Which is nice, especially in the maxilla. Let's see, section one. Okay. Now with the tapers, do you do any type of different drilling sequence or protocol compared to the straight one Yes, I changed my osteotomy site preparation by going with a softer bone technique. So I'm going to undersize my osteotomy so that I can have good mechanical cutting of the aggressive thread pattern of the one-piece implants. A little bit this way. Right. What happened to the water, guys? Water's off? Or did I lose my thing? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. What drills do you want to work out with? I'm not, I don't have any water. 13, this is at 1,350 RPMs. I like it a little oh, more than 800. Okay. Water is all. Okay. Oh, yeah. I did that. Nicole, we could turn it down a little bit, too. Sorry. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just continuing to increase the diameter of the site. This is a 2.8 diameter drill. Marks, we're going to the top line, which is 12, which we'll do in hands-on later. You gonna take that from me? So we're just widening the sight as usual. I get it, there you go. Suction on top on you. Front on the facial. Good. All right. Let me just see this kit a little closer. So here's our Z system surgical kit, which you'll see in the hands on later. So what I'm doing is I'm just following now. The red is going to be for 4 0. So I'm going to the third drill here, the 325. But with Alan's bone, I might even go a little more to the 375. This drill, this countersink drill, is really for widening up the emergence profile of the fan of the implant, which I'll show you. But we're probably not going to do this in extraction site. Maybe a little bit in the number seven site. So now I'm going right now to the, the 325 drill. Let me have it before. Actually, I'm sorry, protocol. Though. Thank you. And I'm just seeing the integrity of this buckle palatal shelf. See, so look at our site here. Yeah. So I'm within the I'm within the buckle plate. I still got my buckle plate, which will be good for the soft tissue. But because of this, with titanium, I would do a connective tissue graft here, which I'm not going to do with the with the zirconia implant. Okay, we're good. All right, so one second. I'm going to wind up to the 375 right away. And 
because it's we want the softer bone technique. And you can see I'm kind of fanning my drill towards the paddle. I'm going full depth on that site. So Nicole, what I need to do, I don't have. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, let's go back for one second here. Now, this is the countersink, which I'm going to use a little bit on the site if I feel okay with where the tissue goes right here. Because this is a dentulous site. Uh, wrong side, I'm sorry. Go back to this. Just for a little opening up of that top part of the implant surface. Let's go to this here. This is what I want. All right. Doing okay, y'all? Good. All right. So that's going to open up the site where I don't have the extraction socket. Huh? Okay. So we'll have to. Show. Now, can I have the suction tip for a second? So let me inspect the site. So now I'm just inspecting my sites. So what I have to do, if I can... I don't know if we'll be able to see this with the mirror. Nicole, just give me the, the temporary and the, and the big uh, mirror. Let's see if our drilling procedures are on. Okay. So, Edith, if you hold this for me. I feel like I'm trying to show this if I can. Let's see if we can see the site preparation. So, if you see... I think it's going to be when I put the inputs in. But I don't know if you can see our site preparation. Sorry. Our site preparation. And Nicole, maybe you can hold that while I hold this. You see it? Did they see it? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I got Freebird on for you, baby. The Atlanta saw. Okay, go ahead, Nicole. If they can see the site preparation to where we're at. Okay, great. So let's rinse this out. And we'll start taking the implants, Nicole. Although, yes, yeah, start taking the implants. All right, one second here for everybody. Pop, uh, okay. Yeah, for anybody that may tune in, like, what diameter implant, or what dimension implant are you placing? With this, here for a second. I'm putting in 4.0 one-piece implants. <sighs> Tapered, I'm going to show it to you in a second. I don't have the right size here yet. Take this out. Thank you. This is what happens when I take over instead of Nicole. You picked the wrong seating instrument, okay? So, this is the one piece. Is that good? Blakey, good? Yeah, go ahead. One piece, 4.0, Z Systems, tapered screw implant. This is 95% of the zirconia implants I put in is this shape and uh, size 502, showing a lecture a little bit too, all right? Let's go. We'll start with number 10 site. Doing okay, Ellen? Want a break? You okay? Hold on. 
I can say. Won't you fire? Yeah, I'm singing. All right. So this drill is set at 45 Newton centimeters. So I'm already at 40. I could feel the drill starting to stop, so I'm not going to go over. But look already what I was talking about. So this is a zirconia abutment, which we can prep. Here's our soft tissue. And I'm not really concerned because, I mean, look through the tissue. You're not going to see any metal. This is where this is imperative to me with zirconia implants. You need to stay away. Okay, same thing here, 45 newton centimeters. I have the hardest time doing that, so I do it this way. So now I can already tell I'm going to have to take a little bit of the facial of this one off. No problem, because it's one piece. We're going to prep it. Z Systems, as I'm sure Dr. Lacanti, hi, Billy, who's helping out as the proctor in the hotel, will talk about why this is ability to be preppable, where some of the other zirconia implants are not. So what I want to do, Nicole, is one second, if I could have the torque wrench. I'm going to go back and just kind of make sure all my alignments are right. And I like to just keep my, my flat side to the facial. So I like the parallel shuffle immediately, so I'm going to take a little bit of the facial of number from a draw perspective. Now, when I get down to the hotel, I'll expect all the criticism of my preparation and You know, I think we're around 150, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But early on, I made the decision, that especially in the aesthetic zone, All implants are zirconia. And there's a lot of benefits to zirconia. Less plaque accumulation. Virtually no plaque accumulation. Translucency with the tissue. Safe biomaterial. No corrosion of the titanium. Less incidence of peri So now we've just put some regular composite, not flowable, into the sites. I'm just trying to index the head.